Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi said that Israel's ongoing bombardment of Gaza may force everyone to act. This comes as Israel has been pounding the tiny Palestinian territory since Hamas stormed across the border on October 7th and killed more than 1,400 people. The Palestinian death toll passed 7,700, according to the health ministry in Gaza. The crimes of the Zionist regime have crossed the red lines and this may force everyone to take action, Ibrahim Raisi said on X formerly Twitter. Washington asks us to not do anything, but they keep giving widespread support to Israel, he said, adding, the US sent messages to the axis of resistance, but received a clear response on the battlefield. The term is used by Iranian officials to refer to the Islamic Republic and its allies, like Lebanon's Hezbollah, Yemen's Houthis, and other Shiite forces in Iraq and Syria. Earlier, Iran hailed the October 7th attacks as a success, while insisting that it was not involved in the onslaught, during which 230 people were also taken hostage, according to Israeli authorities. Iran considers it its duty to support the resistance groups. But the resistance groups are independent in their opinion, decision and action, the Iranian president said in an interview with Al Jazeera. The United States knows very well our current capabilities and knows that they are impossible to overcome, he said. The Israeli military intensified airstrikes in Gaza while thousands of people desperate for food and basic items broke into aid warehouses in the besieged enclave. Internet and phone connectivity were restored for many people in the territory, while Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu called the three-week-old Israel-Hamas war a fight for Israel's existence and said never again is now while announcing a second stage in the war. In January of 2023, Iran's foreign minister urged the U.S. to avoid an Israel trap that could provoke a war. He cautioned that Israel's actions against Hamas could compel the international community to intervene, potentially leading to World War III. The geopolitical landscape is witnessing a dangerous dance of power and posturing. Lebanon's internal strife, the proposed Iran deal, Israel's preemptive threats, and Iran's cautionary message all contribute to an escalating tension that could potentially tip the world into a new conflict. These are indeed critical times. The question remains, will diplomacy prevail or will the drumbeats of war drown out the voices of reason? As the world watches and waits, only time will tell.